Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are actually going to mess around with our plane. Uh, because, 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 in the rogue mode that we actually use this plane in, uh, I've failed and this plane has broken and uh, just isn't fixable um, in the state that it's in. And that's th the reason for that is if we have a little look on the outside real quick. Here we go. Hold on. Let me jump out using this thing. Da 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 da. If we have a little look at the back, we've actually got a fluid pot and we've got a fluid pot. Okay? So we got two fluid pots. That is not the issue. <laughs> the issue is we don't have an electricity thing. So um even though we've got the fluid pots, we, we don't have an electricity connector, so we can't actually um re 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 electrize <laughs> English. Uh we can't we can't actually charge the plane's batteries from the outside. Uh, because we don't have any connector for it, um, which is a massive problem because because we got wait oh This is the broken one. This is actually broken um, But yeah, we can't charge it from the outside because we don't have a connector and Yeah, it's just broken out in the middle of the ocean, so I don't know what to do then Alright, okay, so I fixed the electricity issue that we have, or that we had, uh, and we're gonna quickly go ahead and turn on the engines, there we go, beautiful. They're all running, I think. Yep. Um, oh, that's one thing as well, we didn't actually, we, we never actually had a battery <laughs> um, thing. We never had one. So, uh, we didn't know whether the battery was gonna run out or not, and that was an issue, but anyway, we're gonna go ahead and turn sideways. Yes, this is good. This is very nice. Yep. And we're gonna eventually take off. I'm actually gonna turn this off. Uh, cause our electricity problem is just that. It is a problem. Yeah, but anyway, uh, we're probably out enough now so we can actually fold the wings down. There we go. Go ahead and do that as well. Okay, yep. It does have a few issues sometimes. <laughs> but uh, there we go, we're down. That is awesome. Right, so, now, we go ahead and we do this. And then we just take off. There we go. Alright, we've taken off, we're flying, everything is A-OK, -okay. good. Now we do this, and then the things fall back up on the end of the wings, and we are fly- Oh, I didn't fix the thing! I haven't fixed the thing! We need to do that. Um, one of the ailerons doesn't actually move. The one on the right isn't doing anything. So we're, we're literally only rolling using one aileron on one wing. Yeah. So yeah, that does mean that it's pretty hard to roll because only one of them works. It's a feature. You know, that's that's just supposed to be a thing on this plane. Um, but yeah, if we have a little look at this, the engine temperatures all seem fine. The speed seems fine. The altitude, that seems to work okay. Um, our fuel level, I think it's actually pretty efficient, to be to be totally honest with you. I think this thing's actually really efficient. Uh, if you put the gyro on, though, um, you do end up nosing up, so you just climb and climb and climb. So if I wanted to fly to the Arctic, I'd have to actually sit here and keep nosing down. Um, but that's okay, that's completely fine. Anyway, do we have any missions? Where is this? Let's go see this, because I, I don't really... Oh, <laughs> it's 110 kilometers away. All right, well, I, I think I think we have time to get there. Uh, but it is going to take 10 years, so I don't know about that, actually. Yeah, let's let's not do that one. We'll wait for another... In fact, can I go to the back and go to sleep? I can't remember if this one's got a bed in it or not, but it should do. Yeah, it does. So if I go to sleep midair... Da -da 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 we should be able to get ourselves a new mission. Maybe. I don't know. Does this work in creative? There we go. Deliver large rig compo- I mean, that's not something I can do. That isn't something I could do. But we could go there anyway, I suppose. Yeah, let's just go there anyway. Oh, wow, okay. Well, it's literally just down here by beside me. So we're going to go ahead and turn around. Yep. And we're going to land this thing down there. Hopefully. Turn the gyro off. That is making it a little bit more difficult. There we go. Go ahead and do this. Push it all the way forwards. And... Land it on the ground. Come up. Here we go. I mean in the water. We're landing it in... <gasps> we should put the landing gear on today. Yeah, let's try that. No, let's not. 
Let's not. Landing gear sounds difficult. Alright, here we go. Here we go. This is our landing right here. Splash down! Beautiful. Uh, and then you just turn it off. There we go. So, yeah, if you're wondering what actually happened in the rogue mode, uh, essentially what we did was we landed next to here, uh, and then we turned the engines off, but we left some of the electricity on by accident or something, and then when we wanted to take off, we didn't have enough power for the water takeoff assist thing, and then, and then it ran out of electricity, and now we can't take off at all, so, um, yeah, it's pretty much the end of rogue mode, unless we swim. Uh, but yeah, we can actually, we can fly this thing properly. It needs some sort, in fact, let's go ahead and put a generator in it. That's a good idea. Right, so although we have the generators on the two outer, outer engines, uh, we're just going to put like an APU, well not an APU, but an engine in the cargo area. So engine, we're going to go for the small one. That's probably fine. We're going to put it right in the center, uh, pointing backwards. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's fine, probably. Uh, if we do something like this. There we go. We can put the engine on the back of there. As long as we can fit past it, that this is completely fine. There we go. Good. Uh, we put our generator. Which is going to be a medium generator. Back here, I think. I don't know how many it can actually like do. I have no idea, but if we put that there... Uh, actually, wait, 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 we're gonna have to get a gearbox, too. So, the gearbox is gonna go straight on there, like that? Straight on there, like that, I guess? I think that's probably fine. Generator is gonna go, oh, not a large one, although it totally fits. Um, no, we want a medium one, because I think that'll do. There we go. Uh, we then want to put our coolant on, okay? Um, heat, is it called? This thing right here. Uh, so we're gonna put that on there like that. That's okay, good. Then we've got our fuel, our exhaust, and our air. Uh, a bunch of these are completely easy to do. Completely easy. Not right, not the right words. Um, where's our actual fuel tank? Is this it? This is our fuel tank right here. So, essentially, we need to... Okay, right, get a pipe. Pipe, please. There we go. We want to take this up to... No, we don't. We want to take that up to the roof. In fact, delete that and that. There we go. Uh, put that there. Delete that. Oh, what's this? Oh, the gyro... Why is the gyro right there? Unbelievable. All right, cut the gyro. Move it forwards to there. That's probably okay. Merge it real quick. There we go. Put the pipes in. do 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 do, -do. Pipe. Okay, come on, pipe, good. Go ahead and put this on there. Good, and good. And then, we actually probably want them one behind the other, because, and there is a reason for this, um, because that's how it works. <laughs> that's my reasoning. No, because actually, um, the wing covers the other bit. So, fluid port, we need two of those. One's going to go... Um, there, and one's gonna go there, the right way around, both of them, there we go, uh, and yeah, this is how it's gonna work, this is fine, so, pipes again, yep, go ahead and drag it out this way, yep, go ahead and drag it this way, yep, and then go ahead and do that, there we go, fan dabby dozy, that's awesome, right, now we just need fuel, and once we've got the fuel, everything should be fine. I think. Everything should be fine, I think. So, we grab this, we go sideways, we go down. Maybe it should have its own fuel tank. I don't know. I guess that doesn't really make any sense. We wouldn't need it, would we? No. Alright, go down here. Go in here somewhere. In there. Yeah, it's probably okay. Probably fine. There we go. Do that one. Yes. Go ahead and do this one. Yes. Um, we want a fluid part on there. Uh-huh. So we can actually get our fuel out. Boop. There we go. And then we drag it backwards to here. We go down. And then we just need to angle pieces. 
uh, to finish the rest of it. So there's that, and there's that. All right, fantastic, beautiful. So there's our generator. Uh, it should be completely fine. Before I forget, though, uh, if we can attach this to there, now we've actually got... Wait, is it connected via this too? Yeah, it is. That should work. Our aileron should work. Uh, our new generator should run if we get some dials real quick. We're going to go ahead and shove this here, here, and here. We're going to put a uh, button. We're going to put a button to start it. Uh, toggle. I guess it doesn't really matter. And then a throttle lever to actually use it. There we go. Alright, awesome. So, this goes to here. Fantastic. That's it. Um, generator output can go there. Gen. Output. There we go. This one's going to be our battery. And this one's going to be our fuel. Okay, right, so... We logic this to the fuel, which is not that one, it's this one, fuel level, yeah that's okay, good. This one is a battery, oh, we got so many batteries though, we got loads of batteries, we're just going to attach it to that one for now, um, and then that's fine, everything is actually on there, that's good. Uh, the electricity itself though has to all be attached together. So we do this, there we go, attach this to the engine, attach it to the gearbox, attach it to the generator, the generator gets attached to the battery, this one, and that, I believe, is, in fact, yeah, that is fine. Okay, right, so, the gearbox on this one, I don't know what it should be. I'm gonna go to 2 to 1, but I don't, I don't really know, so we're just gonna leave it like that. Um... Yeah, I guess that's fine. Right, so let's go ahead and spawn it in, jump inside, and we'll see if it works. It's in the cargo room. There we go. Right. Oh, uh, what? What? Why? Is that not connected to anything else? Oh, yeah, I'm a big dum dum. I disconnected it from the generator, but I didn't connect it to anything else. So there we go. All right, fantastic. Yes. This should be fine now. Boing. There we go. We jump in through here. Yep. We go down, and then we start it. I never, uh, I do this a lot. I, I didn't connect the thing. I actually didn't connect the thing. Um, The battery needs to be connected to there. Yeah, that's why I didn't do anything. Oh, I'm a big dum-dum. Anyway, jump back over. Yes. Go in here. Oh, I'm stuck. Yeah, don't go, don't go there on my plane. It just, it's not good. Anyway, um, we're going to jump inside. Yes. Do this, do this. I think the gear ratio is too high. I, th I do. I think the gear ratio is too, too high. Uh, yeah, alright. Well, let's change that then just a little bit so it actually starts. Uh, we're going to go to 3 to 2. 3 to 2. That seems like a good number. Or a few good numbers. <laughs> it's more than one. Alright, here we go. Go on. This time, you're gonna work, please. Really? Have I forgotten how engines work? Is there something I haven't done, maybe? Alright, you know what? Let's just go ahead and make it one-to-one. -one. <laughs> uh, we'll see if that does anything, because I, I don't know what I've... Have I done anything wrong here? We've got the fluid coming up. From down here, that should get sucked in there, and it should go up and in to there. Yep, the air supply and the ox um and the, and the exhaust should go through the roof. The coolant is working, and that should be fine. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try something slightly different here. We're gonna put a clutch on. And then we're going to put the generator straight afterwards, uh, and hopefully that's fine. So, generator after a clutch. There we go. That does mean we need another one of these. There we go. This one, we need to label it clutch. Here we go. 
Pludge. There we go. Good. Attach this to there and attach the electricity to there and to there and then this to there and that should be fine. I think. Is everything there connected? I think so. Okay, so now I'm just confused. Um, there is literally nothing that means that this, this engine can't work, so I don't really know what's going on there, but if we grab another one of these, the only other thing that I can think of that would be breaking it is the fact that we don't have a pump. Oh wait, I, I know what's breaking it. There's no fuel in here. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's actually no fuel in there. The fuel is in this bit down here. Yeah, what am I doing? So that whole time I've just been... Oh, it's been a long time since I've built in this game. And I just don't think it's for me, to be honest. I don't think building's for me. Um, What am I doing? Right, delete that, that, and that. And then we can just go straight down. And then we can go straight in. That's fine. Alright, pipe. So actually, in theory, what we've actually got up there is a working engine. It just doesn't have any fuel. And... That's all my fault. But anyway, um, we now have fuel. So don't worry, it's fine. Fluid. Here we go. Da -da 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 -da. Put that right there, that's good. And now it should work fine. Delete that, that's okay. Uh, engine on, okay, yeah. Alright, spawn it in, see what happens. So this is a, essentially an APU, but not quite. There we go, so it's running. Alright, it's running, it should be charging the batteries, and that's fine. So, it'll charge the batteries enough to do this, or will it? No, it won't. Look at how much they use. That's insane. That is absolutely insane, but if we can, hold on this seat, here we go. If we can steer it out of the way, yep, there we go, good. Then turn this off. And then put the wings down. Yep, do that as well. We probably need a gear system. We do. We need gears in here as well. But that should charge back up. Which it did. It went from 78 to 79. And now 80. Yeah. So this actually works if we needed power. That's great. Uh, it should have its own independent battery though. So we can actually start it whenever. Uh, and then that'll be completely fine. That's awesome. Right, how do I do this battery thing? I need it on a breaker, I think. So, it literally just needs a starting battery, which could be this. For example, it could go right there. And that'll be fine. And then we need a breaker to go here. Uh, and that is... Oh, I don't know which way around this goes, but I'm just going to put that there. And then this to there. And that should be fine. That'll be okay, right? I think so. Um, but this right here is the uh, gen battery. Gen battery. All right, okay. Battery. Nice. Um, so yeah, I think I think that's fine. Let me go ahead and save this real quick. Uh, over. We need a new one. Rogue mode plan. Yeah. So if you're wondering why I'm renaming that, it's because this one doesn't actually have windows. Um, because the windows, we don't actually have them unlocked in rogue mode. But anyway, um, yeah, I think that's fine. So, let's go ahead and get inside, and we'll take off again, just to make sure we can. And then hopefully, we'll be able to put this on the workshop. I think it needs a little bit more work to it, though, but yeah. Well, that's pretty good, though. I like that. Yeah, so, let's go ahead and uh, move this forwards. Do -do 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 -do. Okay. I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Yep, that's fine. Good. Uh, go ahead and do this and this. There we go. That should sort of lock itself in. That's good. Our battery is down to 80. It's okay. We start it up. And then we do this. I mean, we could keep this running the entire time, and that'll be fine, probably. So we'll do that. There we go. Turn these on. Turn them all off. There we go. Throttle up. There we go. Nice. Do this. There we go. We're in the air. Awesome. And yeah, that's completely fine. So now we've got five exhausts coming out the top. <laughs> we've actually got five exhausts. 
That's pretty insane. And also, the roll is fixed, so that it rolls a lot nicer now too. That is awesome. Yeah, I really like this plane. I think we've done a decent job on it. It's just I'm a little bit upset that Rogue Mode broke because of it. Uh, which is, it is very upsetting spaghetti. Rogue Mode isn't necessarily over though. Uh, and that's something that I wanted to get onto. Rogue Mode isn't over because we've still got boats that still work. As long as I can swim to them uh, and do missions with them, then our Rogue Mode is saved. So if you guys want to see more Rogue Mode, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you guys want to see more of this plane, let me know in the comments down below as well. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.